What's up, guys? This is ASAP Zonk, and I found some good stuff today. I found Adam's Family, Scavenger Hunt, Pugly's Scavenger Hunt, Metal Storm Emanuel, Wizards and Warriors 3. And I'll tell you the story. So, what happened was I shop sometimes. Well, all the time I shop. But I went to a estate sale, and they had video games, but I didn't know. I was looking at other stuff because I didn't see the games at first. They brought them out late. And I was like, uh-oh. But anyway, I see this guy with a VCR. And I see him staring at the stack. And, and well, as we all may know, the stack was video games. And my heart dropped. Because I knew what people do. They just buy them all or they nitpick the cherry pick the good ones, so I'm like, damn, so I strike up a conversation, and I start talking to the guy, he was a nice guy, and he was like, yeah, whatever I don't want, you can look at, so there was four stacks of games, and he was looking at two stacks, he goes, if you look at the other stack, you could, so when I was looking at the other stack, I found the Adams Family, I didn't know this game was rare, this game's worth like 200 bucks, and this is complete in box, no idea it was rare, no idea at all it was rare so i put in my stack i thought it was like worth like 30 bucks i'm like okay they wanted six bucks i'm like okay i'll take anna's family then i saw zelda i'm like i'll take zelda i saw mega man i'm like oh i'll take mega man as well so then he passed me his stacks that he didn't want and i saw final fantasy this is pretty mint i said i'll take final fantasy for six bucks they're originally eight bucks but the uh lady was doing a deal we bought more uh gauntlet with manual. Uh, a lot of these games they come with manuals. So Gauntlet came with manual. Adventure Island. They all came from Trader John. I never heard of it. The case didn't come with it by the way. I got the case separate. Uh Adventure Island Manual Monster Party. This is kinda uncommon with manual. And Robocop 2. I should take it with uh, manual as well. So, okay, so I grab all of them, and guess what I saw? The guy said, oh, I'm going to buy these games, and he bought um, Qbert, Dragon Warrior, Yoshi Complete in Box. All the games I mentioned were loose, except for Yoshi, you know, the Yoshi cookie, whatever. Um, Robocop 1, that was another one he took. I said Dr. Mario, Qbert. Dragon Warrior, oh, Metroid, and Donkey Kong. And I think there was no, one other one. But the only two I would have bought out of all ones that he bought was Donkey Kong and Metroid because they're $20 games. So I asked him. He picked up the stack, and he left this behind. I didn't see the manual. I just saw the game, and I'm like, are you taking Metal Storm? He goes, no, no, and he laughed at me. And I was like, huh? And then I had like a Steve Urkel moment. So, I didn't know what the manual, so I bought them all. I'm like, I told the girl, I'm like, I want all these. And she was like, okay. And then I saw this. I didn't know this was even worth money. And I was like, I'll buy this too. It's complete in box. And she was like, okay. So, I pay her. I thought this was 30 bucks. So, I go to my car. And I'm there shaking. Like, in the store, I was completely shaking. Because I thought the guy was in the Metal Warrior. Metal Storm, I mean. Sorry. And he had a right to his first. But he left it behind. He took all common games. Like, all the games he took, he paid six apiece. He got, like, seven games. He paid, like, 40-something dollars. And, okay, he sells the two and it pays for them. All right, he sells Donkey Kong. He sells Metroid. pays. But this is, these games are worth close to 350 bucks plus. And he left these behind because he didn't know. Or he didn't want them. I don't know. Anthony told me it's a good story to tell, so... I believe him. Um, then I found this poster. I'm going to open it up. I don't know what, what game is it even for. That's a Game Boy poster. Oh, Virgin Games. Okay. So, um... What is this? Oh, this is Dr. Mario. So, I got the better half of the bunch this is worth 200 metal storm is so rare this is worth 100 the manual with the manuals alone is worth 100 well the man is like 75 50 bucks to 100 so i'm keeping metal storm the game for right now but i'm probably gonna play it so i can't wait to play it um 
But yeah, I was second. I was second to these games, and I still got the better games. Never give up. If you see somebody grab a stack of games at a flea market, anywhere, go right behind the guy and just say, can I see what, you, what you're getting, and can I get what you're not getting? If they turn around, blah, I'm buying everything, blah, blah, blah. Just walk away commonly. But sometimes you're nice, because I was helping the guy. I was blocking out other people from seeing the stuff. But yeah, he passed on Adam's family. Like, I don't want Adam's family. He was like, I don't want... And I asked him, do you want Metal Storm? He goes, oh, no, that's a stupid game. I don't want it. Really? Stupid. This is probably the best game. <laughs> anyway, it's not even the point, but I got it. And, yeah, so the moral of the story is if you're second, you can always score. And, again, he got seven common games, like $3 games, where he paid double the price. He probably was a player. He probably wasn't a collector. He probably wasn't a reseller or collector. He probably just wanted to play the games. No system in sight, though. The sale is tomorrow as well, so I'm going to go early to see if they have any games. Any systems, I mean, or more games. Uh, they did have more games, but they weren't worth money. Anyway, shout out to Secondhand Daisy, Anthony, uh, Video Gamer Daryl, my girlfriend Paige, and everybody else. I'll talk to you guys later. This is ASAP Zonk, and I scored. Wow. Goodbye.